Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Assholeconsulting.com, go there if you have questions. On the road here. Hello, asshole. I'm 19 years old and attending Marquette University. I'm a junior double majoring in computational mathematics and physics with a 3.95 GPA. Dude, fucking, are you going to try? What the hell is this .05 missing? No, I'm giving you shit, kid. That's pretty, that's pretty fucking tits. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, computational mathematics is a branch of applied math slash computer science dealing with algorithm development, numerical analysis, mathematical modeling, and statistical computing. I'm very interested in algorithmic quantitative financial training, but one must attain a PhD in a mathematical computational discipline in order to area enter such an area in finance. Yeah, and you have to suck cock too. Um, my intentions are to pursue a PhD in the field of scientific computing from which can develop the necessary skills set to obtain a role as a quantitative developer and also have the potential to get involved in the startup markets of bioinformatics or quantum computing. And you are talking to me, why? <laughs> Dude, your, your IQ has got to be off the charts. Not if you want to come talk to a you know, regular schmo like me. Can you identify any fallacies with this plan? Would it be wiser to simply pursue a job as a software engineer or related discipline after undergraduate? My undergraduate is being paid for by my parents in totality and PhDs and disciplines I'm considering are paid for by the university through grants. That is, they actually pay you around 30000 a year while completing the program. Thus, I can more or less complete all my education with no debt. Let me know what you think, if I'm being foolish in any way, and should try to be more practical. Thanks. Yeah, you're really choosing the shitty majors there, kids. Um, here's the thing. The, the physics degree, I'm not going to say it's worthless because it can be applied to other things, but you need to get applied physics. And even then, it's like, you, you'd have, as you know, probably... <clears throat> you'd have to get a doctorate in that too. So between both of your degrees, it looks like you need to get doctorates in them. Both. The one that looks a little bit more applicable would be your your more uh, statistical modeling, financial modeling one, where yes, you do get the PhD, and truthfully, when you're that high level, you don't really have to kiss anyone's ass or suck anyone's cock. I mean, you, you, you can't be a dick either. Uh, but it's not like you're going to become an investment banker and say, Chazzy, Chaz, Chaz, Chazzy, Chaz, Chaz, Chazzy, Chaz. Yeah, Martini's Manhattans. <laughs> uh, you don't have to become that douche. Um, so since you had it paid for, and this is almost a guaranteed, like, you, you ain't going to be starving um, uh, if you get this PhD. I mean, you're not going to have uh, um, a, a lack of employers banging down your door. Uh, also... It seems to be what you really want to do. And it's not like, you know, you're the typical 21-year-old going, I want to write and become a teacher. I mean, you're, you're going to do something that will have a job at the end of it. And if it's not that specific job, there are certain, you know, big data is, is a lot of companies, uh, uh, data mining, uh, your algorithm programming, trying to predict uh, purchasers' behavior, trying to predict uh, stock money. There's more uses uh, uh, than just simply going to work for an investment bank. Uh, so between the two of them, yeah, physics is just as impractical to the point you need a PhD. Uh, but if you're thinking like something more practical, like, you know, becoming an engineer, eh, I don't know. You know, your parents are paying for this. This is what you like. It's not a worthless degree. And if you could get everybody else to pay for it, I mean, do you like school? I mean, if you really hated school, I'd say, yeah, that's probably going to tear on your psychology a little bit. But uh, no, dude, I absolutely, I think that's a great idea. Uh down the road, as you study it more, you can always, you know, find out like, oh no, I hate this. This isn't the way it became, and uh, you're not going to be too far off to simply retool. You learn some programs, you learn some languages, um, you repurpose. You go, you'll find a way that's definitely within your personal passion for this field uh, that also works for you. So I'm, I would absolutely, I like the plan. It's just a little bit long on the uh, employment side. I'm sorry, education side, you got to get your PhD. But you know what? One and done. Wham, bam, thank you, man. If there's a way to get a PhD, have your fucking parents pay for it. Have the university pay for the rest. And never fucking make below 600000 or uh, six figures again. Anyway, best of luck to you. Toodles.